spending thousands on Google ads, Facebook ads, and print? You're getting lots of phone calls, but nothing seems to convert into more sales? Sounds like you have a leaky funnel. Surprise! Moving a lead from information qualified to marketing qualified to sales qualified to a closed sale doesn't always happen in the first phone call. By the way, if you want to learn more about information qualified, marketing qualified, and sales qualified leads, click this link up here. I did an entire video on it. A lead needs to be nurtured. Depending on how you sell or how you serve your customer, that nurture process could take a few hours to a few years. Let's start at the top of the funnel. Where do you get your leads? Are they the right profile? Does your ad copy and your targeting qualify the lead? It does? Great. If not, you can take a look at this video I did on Facebook ads. It talks a little bit more about that. When the lead arrives, whether through a phone call or filling out a form on your website, you need to move that lead into the marketing nurture funnel. This is a content marketing strategy that keeps your brand and authority in front of that lead while they're thinking about what they want to do next. And when the time comes, when they're ready to take action, it's your brand that they think of first. And it's that initial nurturing, what we call an autoresponder, that kicks things off and gets your brand in front of them as an authoritative advisor. Not sure about how to do an autoresponder? Create an entire video on how to create the perfect autoresponder. You'll see a link up here and in the show notes for it. Once your autoresponder or automated email campaign is running and operational, it's used to keep your brand in front of people until they're ready to take action. After that, it moves on to something we call a digest. That's where you're keeping authoritative content in front of your ideal customer, client, or patient, in front of that lead, until they're ready to buy. And this is done at an interval that is consistent, but not necessarily overwhelming. And it varies from business to business. For some, you can keep in front of people every other day. For others, once a month is enough. It really depends on the type of business and the type of leads that you bring in. Essentially, this nurturing process that we're talking about today through email autoresponders and digest, it's like a billboard on the highway. When you're driving down the road and you're going to the same place every day, you pass the same billboard every day. Sometimes you notice it, sometimes you don't. But over time, that billboard builds a brand impression. It's the same thing with your emails. When they arrive, sometimes that lead opens it, sometimes they don't. But each time it arrives in the inbox, they see your brand and they start associating that with an authoritative brand. They start seeing this consistently and it builds and builds in their mind until they're ready to take an action. We've worked with many clients where we've helped them on the lead generation side. And we had one, they are a great company, a services company. And we were generating leads for them through Google ads in this case. And we were doing a pretty good job. Phone calls were coming in, phone calls were consistently arriving. But when we would talk to the owner and we would work through what's happening, we would go through every single call because we track and record all those things. What we would ask is what happened to those that were inquiries that didn't convert on that call? And he would tell us, well, we have their information. Okay, so what are you doing with that? Well, nothing. They're missing a big opportunity. If you're paying a lot of money to get leads in the door that don't convert immediately, then you must build out a nurture campaign to shore up what we call a leaky funnel. A leaky funnel is when a lead arrives, it doesn't convert, and you don't do anything with it. It's a waste. Make sure that your leaky funnel is shored up and it is working properly. We call that nurture marketing. And what we talked about today is nurture marketing through email. And this can also be accomplished through keeping in front of your leads through social channels as well. Now that's only one half of it. When a lead turns from marketing qualified to sales qualified, that is, it's an opportunity now, and you give them a quote or a proposal, what happens next? If they haven't converted to a closed sale, do you stop your nurture marketing? No, of course not. What you wanna do though, is you wanna transform your nurture marketing into what takes that sales qualified lead, somebody who's already asked for a quote or a proposal, 
and take them through to a process where they close. That is still content marketing. You're still gonna deliver your digest. That is the content that's authoritative in nature on a consistent basis. It's going to keep your brand in front of them. But you'll also deliver to them a different automated campaign. And this autoresponder is specific to the item for which you quoted them. If they wanted to have hormone replacement therapy, your autoresponder is going to be about the benefits of that. That way, they asked for how much it costs, and then you're gonna keep the emails to them about that type of therapy. If they wanna know how much it costs to get their house painted or replace their air conditioning system, those are the types of campaigns you'll run. You're the benefits of painting your house, the benefits of upgrading your AC system during certain times of the year. You're going to speak to them and communicate to them in that sales-related autoresponder to specifically what it was that they requested. Now, while all this is happening, while you're shoring up that funnel so it's really solid, so that it goes from information qualified to marketing qualified to sales qualified to opportunity to close sale, while you're doing all that, you need to measure it. There needs to be measurable results. We write, wrote an entire book on measurable results, which you can learn more about here. But suffice it to say, at each stage, we wanna measure conversions and we wanna make sure that what we're doing is optimal. Each one of these campaigns, the autoresponders or automated campaigns, we wanna look at open rates and click-through rates. We wanna make them as optimal as possible so that each time we evolve them, they improve. They have more opens, they have more click-throughs, and most importantly, if they're marketing qualified, they convert to sales qualified, and if they're sales qualified, they convert to closed sales. That's it. That's how you shore up your leaky funnel. It's with Nurture Marketing. Do you have a leaky funnel? In the comments, let us know about it. Or do you have a better way to shore up that leaky funnel? I'd like to hear about that in the comments as well. If you like what you saw today, subscribe to us and click the bell so you can be alerted every time a new video comes out. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you on the next video.